Hey everybody, how we doing today? Beautiful day here in the Florida Keys. Fred's son Ben was in town and wanted to do some fishing, so loaded up the boat, grabbed a bunch of cobra jigs, and headed out to the reef. Since Ben is a experienced free diver, uh, one of the tricks that we utilize when he's in town is that we'll go out, get the fish finder going, and just troll around until we find a good spot with some good structure, as well as uh, marking some fish. Then uh, Ben will hop in, do a few free dives, and then report back what he sees, whether there's fish around, what type of fish, uh, what the structure is like, uh, the direction of where the chum is going to be going with the current, and then any spots like uh, big sand patches, which will be better for uh, bottom fishing. Uh, just depends on what fishes that he sees. Uh, we were originally going to be doing some chumming for yellowtails as the original plan, but as he dove under, he noticed that there was just a lot of uh, blue runners and uh, small yellowtails all over the place. So as soon as we started chumming, that would attract those, and that's what we would be constantly catching is all these little smaller fish. But what he noticed on the bottom uh, around those sandy areas next to those crevices were a lot of mangrove snappers, um, probably leftovers from the tail end of the uh, mangrove snapper spawn. So with that, we decided to go ahead and uh, anchor up and uh, still put the chum bag out to create action, but then to use the cobra jigs to uh, bottom fish for those mangrove snappers. Bigger jig on the bottom. What was the key part though? The new bait. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hold on. And what did you catch? Oh, you. <laughs> How long did that take? Oh, shut up. <laughs> Fred again. Yeah, well, might have the rig it's figured all out. About the bait. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, nice one. Nice. Bang. Pretty good. It's all about the bait. So as I mentioned earlier, the original plan was to anchor up, chum, and catch yellowtails. But when he did those free dives, we noticed that there was a mangrove snapper schooled up along the bottom. So we decided to switch up and target those and do some bottom fishing. That's where the uh, cobra jig heads came into play. Uh, the conditions we were fishing in, uh, we were anchored in about 50 to 55 foot of water. Uh, there was basically some coral runs with crevices with sandy bottoms and then structure like sea fans and coral heads on the top. Uh, we knew the mangrove snappers were basically schooling around in those bottom sandy spots. Uh, the current was moderate to light and uh, when we put the chum out it was basically descending at a uh, 45 to 60 degree angle. What we were looking to do is, is that we wanted enough weight so that not too much weight where we were going straight down because we wanted the bait to kind of push out away roughly to where the chum is because that's going to be where the fish are hanging out. But we didn't want not enough weight where we got a lot of scope like if we were using the yellowtail jigs where we'd have that line very vertical because then all you would do is just get constantly snagged up with that much line out at that much of an angle. So what we figured out, the half ounce Cobra jig head worked perfectly. I uh, got a nice little 30 degree angle there. Um, plus what it did is that you could generally feel when you hit bottom, which is very important because you don't want to have very much slack out there. One, to prevent uh, getting snag, but also too much slack. So when that fish hits, it doesn't have enough line to run you off into the structure and uh, get you snagged up. So the half ounce was perfect during the most part of the day. But later on in the evening, when the, the current picked up to a moderate to, to fast, uh, then we switched over to the three quarter ounce and that allowed us to keep that same angle to target the same areas those fish were and still keep catching them. Uh, I will be doing some future videos that are specifically on how to use these and gauge all these parameters uh, when I have uh, probably when I'm on my kayak and then I could do it in a more structured way so you can keep an eye out for those. So if you're going to be doing some reef fishing or bottom fishing, highly recommend the Cobra Jig Heads. 
The yellowtail snapper jigs work excellent for that top and mid water column. But if you're going to be going for those bottom species like mangrove snapper, mutton snapper, grouper, and other bottom fish, you need something with added weight that'll get that bait down to the bottom. The jigs come in a quarter ounce, half ounce, and three quarter ounce, which will give you the ability to adjust and get that bait presented in an exact angle that you need, depending on the current and the depth. And also, if you bottom fish, you know you lose a lot of gear. That's why I expanded the quantities to a 25 pack. So if you check the pricing, the 25 pack's individual cost comes out to almost half the cost versus the 5 or 10 pack. A much better deal, especially if you're going to be doing a lot of reef and uh, bottom fishing. And finally, with this last shipment, I received all of my fish head jig heads as well. So I'm in stock of all the sizes. Uh, I've also increased those to the 25 packs as well to make them a lot cheaper individually. And plus, all of the paddle tail combos where you get the paddle tails with a uh, fish head jig head are available now as well. So check those out. The only color I'm short right now is the root beer glitter, but I should receive those this next week. So otherwise, check them out, www.allaboutthebait.com.